Um, at it with Emmanuel Church. We hope that you enjoy our day today with us. Um, we wish all our mommies a happy Mother's Day um, and future mommies and anybody else. We thank you for your part you take, even if you care for another child. Uh, we hope that today is a blessed day and that you thoroughly enjoy it. And children, don't forget to go and spoil your mummies. Okay, make her a cup of tea, do something nice for her, um, and I hope they all have a lovely day with you. So today, we are experimenting. Our story today is about Peter and the Sadducees. They get a bit irritated with him because they're still speaking about Jesus' name. But the Sadducees can't see that um, Jesus has risen. So they cannot understand how Peter is doing these things because they can't comprehend what's happening. So we have some experiments here that show you sometimes things that quite can't be explained. They can, but it seems very magical or different. Okay, so Reeve is going to start out by drawing some things on the glass over there for me. So here, Reeve is drawing some little pictures. Then, okay, do one more heart. Biggish one. So they're just drawings on um, just drawings on a piece of glass. And there is floating hearts and a floating bug. The bug got a little bit messed up, but see. Isn't that amazing how that just moves? Can I touch? Okay, you can touch it. Okay. Over here, in front of Willow, we have a moving snake. No one's touching it, and it just twirls and twirls around on its own there. Okay, Maddie, do you want to take some of the balls and drop them in like that? Okay, watch how the balls sink to the bottom. Okay, there's all our balls. Okay, Matt, put those Okay, put those in, both of them. Okay, watch how the balls jump up like that. Look at them go. Then, over here, I have a hairdryer and a ping pong ball. And if I put this hairdryer on and I put the ping pong ball there, watch how it flies up. Okay, 
Okay, girls, do you see that? There's nothing there, but it is flying up. Okay. Now, the same that I have here. Over here. I'll stir, 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 stir. Okay. Yuck, it looks gross, hey? Okay, let's see. If I pour this, see if it will work. Carefully in here. Supposed to rain. Colors mixed in. <laughs> okay, let's do our last one over here. Okay, there's a glass of water. Girls, is there water in there? Yes. Okay, and put a card on top. Okay, and let's see if this works. Is anybody touching the card? But it's staying there. So it... <laughs> okay, there you go. So they're all our experiments. And what happened here is there are some different things that you can do at home. Try them out. Maybe try our rain again, that didn't really work. But so the Sadducees, they really struggled to understand how Peter and John were healing people because they didn't believe that Jesus has re had resur ra ra risen, ha he had resurrected. So they couldn't comprehend. They had killed Jesus, they had gotten rid of him. So, how were these men still? healing in his name how were they having that power but we know that it was with the holy spirit but the sadducees they couldn't understand and you'll see in our story a little bit just now that the sadducees um couldn't see it but there were a lot of people that were starting to believe about jesus and how he had risen okay <music>
As you heard in our introduction experiments, sometimes things happen and it seems that there is nothing there. Just like in the experiment where the card stays on the bottom of the glass and none of that water comes leaking out. Because we can't see Jesus, not everyone will love him and trust him. This is the exact problem in our story today with the rulers of Jerusalem. They could not see that Jesus had been resurrected and that he was the king. And so they had a big issue with Peter. Peter was talking to the crowds and expressing to them in the temple how he had healed this man. The Jewish leaders saw him, the Sadducees, and they, they weren't very happy with this. And so they took him to court. And the next day, they took him in front of a lot of the Christian or the Jewish leaders, and um, they asked him, "By what power or name are you doing these things?" And Peter was filled by the Holy Spirit, and his answer came from Christ. And he said, rulers of the people and elders, if we are being examined today concerning how I helped a man become healed, let it be known that in all Jerusalem it is by the name of Jesus. Jesus, the one that you crucified, the one that you let die, he raised again from the dead and he is here helping me. Jesus is the one, the stone that the builders rejected, they threw it in the rubbish bin and he has now become the cornerstone, that strong, firm foundation of any building. Jesus is now that person. He is the one that saves us because of what he did by raising up. And know that there is no salvation in anyone under heaven other than Jesus he, that can save you. Jesus is the Christ. Now the leaders weren't happy with this. They were irritated and um, they were a bit astounded by how well Peter and John had answered them. They didn't think that Peter and John would le were learned and so they thought that they wouldn't be able to answer them well. But Peter from having that Holy Spirit in him he answered so well. Now they didn't know what to do. And um, they said, you know, so many people have seen what Peter and John have done. And they've seen this in all Jerusalem. And they've every, there are many witnesses to this. So we'll tell them that they're not allowed to speak of Jesus' names again. We'll tell him that they're not allowed to use his name at all. Do you know what Peter and John said? They said that no, they would not speak. They were not going to listen to these leaders. But John and Peter answered, whether it is right in the sight of God to listen to you rather than to God, you must judge, for we cannot speak of what we have not seen or heard. So they had seen and heard. They were God's witnesses of what he had done. And so they couldn't keep quiet. They had to carry on talking and carry on telling everybody this great news about what they had done. And you know, many, many thousands of people came to know Jesus Christ and who he was because of the work that Peter did. So sometimes we'll come across opposition to who Jesus is. 
We must remember the Bible holds all the answers. And we're lucky to have the Bible. In in those beginning times, um, Peter and John, they didn't have the Bible, although they did have seeing Christ. Um, And not everybody will have understand how we can trust in Jesus. Um, But we have the Bible to help us know those answers and also the Holy Spirit within us that can help us with boldness and having the right answers to answer those people. If anybody ever asks you or doubts what you believe in, pray about it and ask God to help you have the right answers to share who he is with them. Hope you have a wonderful Mother's Day and enjoy our um, prayer and our memory verse. Welcome back again. So we are going to pray and then we are going to do our memory verse, girls. So what would you like to pray about? Reeve, what would you like to pray about? I would like to pray about going to school early. Going to school. You've been missing school and your friends, eh? Hey? What have you missed more, friends or school? Friends and school. Both. Okay. Matt, what would you like to pray about? Keep your granny and grandpa safe during the virus. And Willow, what would you like to pray about? Um, 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 keep my, my friends and my, and my friends. Keep all your friends safe. Hey, okay, let's close our eyes and pray. Okay. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you so much that we can be here today learning about you. Even though we are separated, we are still together in you. We are still able to learn and we are still able to be here um, as a church learning more about you. We pray that this lesson will be understood by the children and we pray that each one of them are touched by it, Lord. We pray that you'll be with Willow's friends, all her different friends. We pray that you're keeping them safe and that they're enjoying their time at home with their moms and dads or grannies. And we pray that you'll just be with them, help them in this difficult time. We also pray for Maddie's grannies and grandpas. We pray that you're with all of them. We pray for Gogo as well. We pray that you're keeping them safe and that you're also helping them know that you're with them and you're always um, keeping them in our hearts. And we pray for Reeve, Lord. We pray that um, you'll help her to be happy with the fact that um, school's not starting yet and that she's missing her friends. We pray that you'll help her to come to terms with that and understand it and um, that we'll, um, the time will pass quickly so that she can get to see her friends and be back at school again soon. We ask and pray these things in your name. Amen. Yeah. Okay, let's do our memory verse. Are you girls ready? Okay, so let's go. But you will receive the power of the Holy Spirit and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, Judea, and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. Acts 1 verse 8. Okay, once more. Okay. Yay. Next time you'll get it right. I'm sure you will. Okay, here we go. But you will receive the power of the Holy Spirit and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth at one verse eight well done girls high five
today we are going to do two crafts because it's Mother's Day and a special day for mums. We thought we'd do a Mother's Day craft, but we've also kept out the um, the craft. Here we have the Sadducee, who is very grumpy because Peter will not stop speaking about Jesus. And here's Peter saying, we must obey God, not men. Okay, so the girls are going to color those in. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take an empty toilet roll. And once we've cut it out, we are going to glue it around there. And there we'll have a Sadducee man and a Peter man. But we are also going to do a little Mother's Day thing. So we are going to take any piece of paper. If you want to make it a little bit smaller, you can cut it in half. Then we're going to take a black pen, draw a nice heart. Then we will take a pair of scissors carefully so you don't mess up the rest of the card. Cut out your heart. Then on here, where you've cut the heart out, on here where you've cut the heart out, you're going to write, I love you to pieces. So, I, or get daddy to help you, love. pieces like that and you're going to take your heart you're going to tear little pieces of paper glue it all over and then we're going to put a little hole there a little hole there and your heart with all the little pieces will hang in the middle there and you can give that to mom and dad. Okay, yeah, mom, mom. mom. <laughs> okay, girls, you ready to do your crafts? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. There you go. The girls have completed their activity. Here is their um, Peter, and there's their Sadducee. And then that is how the Mummy's Day card will look. There, you have taken a different color paper and torn it into pieces and stuck it on the heart so that I love you to pieces makes sense. Thank you so much for joining us today. We really hope you enjoy your Mother's Day with your moms today. All the information about the video will be at the end of the video. And don't forget that, let's see, what does it say here? No, not stop speaking about Jesus. We must obey God, not men. Okay, so we must remember to obey God and not men and that was what Peter and John were doing. Have a wonderful Sunday.